Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining me already. Hello, how are you? Alicia and Ashley, so many people. <laughs> I have some fun movement planned for us today. Moving around, exercising, the normal with me, things that I really love to do. Hello, Sydney, or aloha from Hawaii. <laughs> Hi, welcome, welcome. Thank you all so much for coming. Hello, Steven. It's so wonderful to see everybody. I love having my friends here with me so that we can exercise together and work out together, right? I love to move around so much and it's really important. So before we do any of that, I'm going to start by just saying thank you very much to the Princess Party Company for allowing these sort of things to happen as well as superhero experiences. So many characters that you can meet and talk to and see and do activities with. So make sure that you like our page. If you're watching, you probably already like us on Instagram. So share it with your friends. Tell your friends all about it. Because wouldn't it be nice to watch a video like this and then talk to your friend about it? Or maybe you and your friend could do something like this at the same time and then talk about it after. Because I'm going to show you some really nice exercises, some really fun things to do to get your heart rate going, to make you feel better, to stay healthy. And that's really important, especially in times like these. So if you have a friend you can do this with, that's a really, really good idea. Okay? So I'm down on the ground right now. Yeah, even in my fancy party dress. I don't know that the staff at Prince Eric's Castle would be too happy, but I'm on the ground and ready to work out. So if you want to get down on the floor with me, First, let me just brush my hair with my dangle hopper for a little while. <laughs> Get it out of my way. You might, if you have long mermaid hair like me, you might want to tie it back. <laughs> because we are going to be doing a little workout. I'm going to show you four different moves. And then we're going to do those moves for about 30 seconds. And then take a little break in between. So make sure you have some water close by. Maybe a towel to wipe off that sweat. You want to stay hydrated because we're going to move. Now, before we start, how many of you are already back to school? Or maybe you're in a building, maybe you're at home doing school on the computer, maybe you're not there yet. Maybe you have a couple weeks left. But if you're getting ready to go back to school, there's gonna be a big period of time, unlike the last few months, where you're gonna have to sit still and sit down. Right, Steven and Jenny? Oh, hi, Jenny. So if you're back in school or work or wherever you may be, you're gonna have to get ready to stay still for a little bit longer, which isn't, isn't too fun. Jenny knows I don't stay still for very long, but of course we have to do it. It is important to separate your day with sitting still and paying attention. Yes, I'm sitting again, but not for long, Jenny. So it's important to be able to focus and then have that time where you can get up and run around and do things you wanna do. And it just helps balance out your day a lot better and it helps you feel better, right? I mean, if the entire day, what if you didn't have recess? What if all day you had to just sit in one spot, listen, and oh, I don't know that I could do it. That's why moving around is so important and it's gonna keep you healthy. So whether you're going back to school or back to sitting on your computer at home, make sure that you learn these moves and other ways to run around and have fun and enjoy yourself Something you can do inside or outside so your day is broken up a little bit and you're not just sitting there bored, right? And it's gonna help you focus better. If you have a little bit of time where you can step aside, run in place, do some jumping jacks, do some of these moves I'm about to teach you, when you go back to your schoolwork, it's gonna feel so much easier to connect because moving around is really important for our brains as well as our bodies. All right, so let's start with those four moves. We're gonna start on the floor and we're gonna stay on the floor just so that you can see me better this whole entire time, okay? So first, come to your butts just like I am, and we're going to replicate something my friend Sebastian does, a crab walk. So if you're on your butt, <laughs> you're going to place your hands behind you, your weight in your feet, and you're just gonna lift your hips up off the floor. Now again, I know it's hard to see in my fancy dress, but I'm right here like a little crab, and I can walk forward, and I can walk backwards, I can walk to the side. I can walk to the other side. It's fun. Exercise doesn't have to be boring or difficult. It can be a lot of fun. So many of you have told me that you like to play pretend. Well, if you're playing under the sea, this is a really good one to do. If you're playing the crab, here's where you should be. So you're walking, walking back, 
If you're really feeling crazy, you can try and reach your opposite hand to your opposite foot. So when my right foot comes up off the floor, I reach and touch it with my left hand. Come back down. Reach and touch. Come back down. My butt is floating up off the floor this whole time. So it's a good workout for my arms as well. That one's a lot of fun. So we'll come back. I'm going to teach you all four moves first, and then we're going to go through them together. All right. So that was your crab walk. <laughs> Number two. Let's act like a starfish. You're gonna start all balled up together, right? And then, well, you can see on my little hairpiece, a starfish has, it almost looks like arms and legs that extend out really far and really wide. I know, Jenny, it is difficult to do this in a dress, but you can move around no matter what you're wearing. You can always find something to do. So I'm gonna start balled up like this, and then I'm gonna extend my arms and legs out, just like a starfish, ready? Boom, in, 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 and starfish out. In, 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 starfish out, in, starfish out, in, starfish out. You can keep your legs on the ground. You can see if you can float them off the ground, you're going to feel kind of those muscles in your belly working really hard to hold you there. You can keep your feet down, press it out, pull it back in. That's us acting like a starfish and exercising at the same time. <laughs> All right, so what have we done so far? Crab, just like Sebastian. Starfish, just like my friend right here. <laughs> and what do you think we should do next, Starfish? Should we <gasps> swim? Well, I'm used to that. What about you? Let's flip over onto our bellies. <laughs> You're gonna lay down flat. Put your arms out in front of you. When I count to three, you're gonna lift your arms and your chest up off of the floor. One, two, three. You feel everything kind of working a little harder now. Just pump your arms and legs just like you're swimming. So your arms are going up and down, your feet are going up and down, and it's like we're swimming in place. It's like we're under the sea. Now at this first one you start, you might think, mm, I don't really feel anything happening, but after a couple seconds, that's gonna be quite a workout. And it's a good way, if now you're home and not out, to feel like you're swimming. Playing pretend is really another way to exercise your brain. There are so many different variations of exercise whether it's for your body or your mind. So many things we can do and so many things we can do together. So let's swim, ready? One, two, three, swim, swim, swim. <sighs> Keep breathing, make sure you don't hold your breath here. Again, I'm just teaching these moves now. We're gonna do them all together in just a minute. Ready for your fourth move? All right, stop swimming, <sighs> come up for air. <sighs> and we're gonna stay in this position down on your stomach. Have you ever done a push up before? Well, this is kind of like starting a push-up, but it's just like what pirates have, a plank. Planks of wood off the side of a ship. So what is special about a plank of wood? It's really, really flat and straight, and it doesn't move. Well, that's what you're gonna do with your body. You're gonna pop up onto your arms, lift your hips off the ground, and I'm holding it still right like this. So if you've ever done a push-up before, you'd know from here you'd come down and then lift back up. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna hold that plank. Stiff as a board, stiff as a plank. Hold, hold, hold. Right, you're squeezing your abs in nice and tight. You're breathing. You should be having fun. That's number one. If you're not having fun doing this, don't do it. Find something better. Keep holding it here for four, three, two, one. Let's come down. Huh. I'm almost out of breath just teaching those and we haven't even started yet. <laughs> So before we begin, let's do some shakeouts. Ready? One arm up, shake it out, eight counts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Both hands together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place both hands on the ground. Take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, roll your shoulders back. We're doing a lot of work with your arms today. <sighs> and roll your shoulders forward. Steven is giving nice emojis. I hope you're enjoying this workout, Steven. And I hope that it's breaking up your day and making things a little bit more exciting. <laughs> All right, so now that you know those four exercises, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna work for about 30 seconds and then take 10 second break between the two exercises. Let's see if we can do each exercise two times through. All right, so we're starting with Sebastian's crab walk. Here we go, shoulders back. Hands on the ground. Good time. It sounds like Sebastian is singing right now. Pop your hips up. 30 seconds. Here we go. Tap. 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 Good. 
you can always just hold that crab walk or you can start walking forward and walking back. Keep breathing, tap, tap, three, two, one, come all the way down. You've got about 10 seconds. <laughs> Get ready. Seen Flounder lately, Jenny asked? Well, no, I haven't seen Flounder lately, but I'm sure he's exercising under the sea too. Get ready for those starfish moves. Knees in nice and tight. You're extending your arms and legs out, just like a starfish. Ready? In three, two, one. Here we go. Up, in, up, in, reach. Come in again. Reach, come in, reach 10 seconds. Nine, eight, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're done with that one. Whoo! <laughs> Another deep breath in. Get ready to flip onto your bellies. We're gonna swim. Here we go. Shoulders back, chest up, arms up. Swimming out, 30 seconds, go. Arms and legs are pumping up and down. <laughs> Couple more deep breaths, go faster. <sighs> You're swimming away from a shark. Even faster, even faster. Go, 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 go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <sighs> 10 second rest, we're popping back up into that pirate plank. Arms on the ground, feet on the ground. You're lifting your whole body up, straight as a plank of wood. Ready? Here we go, deep breath in. On an exhale, pop your hips up, here we go. Woo! Hold it there. Hold, hold. Shoulders back. Good. If you need, you can just drop your knees down and hold there instead. <laughs> but we're gonna keep our knees up, keep our knees straight, keep our back straight. Give me 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ha! Huh. Come down. Woo! So while we take a little break from that, I'm gonna see if anybody has any questions for me. Welcome, Alexa Grace. <laughs> Please feel free to say hi or wave if you're here. I'd love to hear from you. <sighs> Asking about my friend Flounder and everybody under the sea. You know, it's hard and I learned this. There's not as much to do under the sea. <laughs> but now that I'm up here, I can run and jump and all of these, all these sort of fun things. But of course, people up here look under the sea and think, oh, I wish I could swim amongst the seaweed and the fish. So, you know they say the grass is always greener. Well, just like Sebastian says, the seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. <laughs> oh, that's okay. All right, well, if we have no questions, let's do those moves one more time, shall we? Once more through from the top. Crab walk like Sebastian. Ready? Here we go. This time I'm just going to walk forward and back. One, two, three. Let's go. Walk up. Walk back, walk up, walk back. It's also fun to do a race like this. If you pop up into a crab walk and you have a friend or a sibling nearby, who can get to the other side of the room faster? Ah! Or walking backwards. Hold it here for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, come down. Really good, everybody. <laughs> Starfish, ready? Knees into your chest. Arms and legs are gonna extend out wide. Three, two, one, Go up, in, up, in, again, up, in, up, in, four more, four, in, three, in, do it again, two, ha, and one. There you go, flip over onto your bellies. Let's swim. Now this music's a little bit slower, so let's swim a little bit slower before. We're not swimming away from a shark this time. This time we're Enjoying the beautiful colors of the coral reef around us. Ready? Here we go. Swim and look around. It's so beautiful. Swim, swim. Now you can kind of see my legs are behind me kicking. They're up off the ground. Swim, swim, swim. Ten more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Huh. I'm already worn out, but we still have to do our plank. And then of course we're gonna stretch together. Ready, hands on the ground, feet on the ground, roll your shoulders back and away from your ears. And on the count of three, you're popping your whole body up, flat as a board. One, two, three, up we go. Hold it there, shoulders are back. If you're looking down underneath your nose, 
you're gonna keep that nice straight line in your upper body. Good, if you're feeling crazy, can you come to the side for a side plank? Ah, oh, isn't that nuts? How about the other side? Swing it over, hold it there. Good, come right back to the center. Can you reach out in front of you? Reach, reach, reach. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down. Woo, I am warm. <laughs> That's why I said have water nearby. You take uh, advantage of having all that water under the sea. Now that I'm up here and water's not just all around me all the time, it's a little harder to remember that I need it. I hope you're all drinking lots of water. That's another very, very important thing. Lots of exercise, lots of water. Those are things that are gonna keep you healthy. All right? <laughs> so now, let's see if there are any other questions. I'm seeing a lot more people join. That's really exciting. Hello, hello. And please feel free to share this with your friends. Remember, you can always go back for the next 24 hours and look at this video and get this exercise in with your friends, with your parents, siblings, anyone can do this because it's important for all of us to move, not just those of us going back to school. It's also not just for little kids. We all need to get up and run around. I mean, I'm not a little kid anymore, but I exercise all the time just to move my body, right? Because I'm so lucky to have a body that moves for me and, and is strong and able. Not everybody has that. So you don't want to take it for granted. All right, let's stretch a little bit while we're here, shall we? Let's get up onto your knees, just like that. Shoulders are gonna be back. And then remember, we're kind of still sticking with this ocean theme, so I want you, I'm gonna turn this music just a little bit lower. I want you to put your arms out like you're surfing and then lean into one side like you're surfing and you feel like you're riding the waves side to side. Hold it there, reach out a little bit further, a little bit further if you want. You can take that one knee and lean into one side a little bit more to also feel a stretch deeper into your hips. Hold there, we're surfing, we're surfing, we're surfing. You know, as a mermaid when I was under the sea, sometimes I would peek up above the waves and I would see surfers go flying by and oh my gosh, it looked so cool and like so much fun. Like a roller coaster on the waves. Let's do the other side. One knee up, arms out, lean into that surf. Lean into it. You could always do this one standing as well, but I want to make sure you can see me. Lean forward, back. Pretend there's a big wave and you really have to move with it. <sighs> so this one, we're calming our breath down. We're slowing down our movements and we're getting deep into a stretch. Good, keep holding it there. Couple more seconds. Ah, <sighs> four, three, two, one. Back down to your knees. All right, just like a piece of seaweed, you're gonna take one arm, pull it up overhead, and hold it there. Out to a little seaweed stretch. Now you're a seaweed, you're swaying amongst the waves. As fish are floating by, it's sort of making you move a little bit. Or maybe as a boat passes overhead, it's a bigger current in the water. <sighs> Good, and hold it up and over to one side. Hold it there. We're gonna count to 10 together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take your other little seaweed arm, pull it up, 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 hold it there, and start to sway back and forth. Right now you're just a little seaweed under the sea amongst the waves. Oh, there goes a little fish that looks like Nemo. Hi, Nemo. <laughs> and some surfers are coming up overhead. It's getting a little bit choppier. We're moving a little bit faster. And hold that seaweed arm up and over and stretch right here. Deep breath in, let's count to 10 together again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And take that arm down. Ah, shake your shoulders out. Couple deep breaths in. And speaking of breath, let's breathe like a blowfish. Have you ever seen a blowfish? Sebastian says, oh, that blowfish blow. <laughs> so you're gonna take a deep breath in. And you're gonna hold your breath at the top and puff out your cheeks, just like this. Don't go overboard, Ariel, says Jenny. Ah, I can't help it sometimes. <laughs> so you don't want to hold your breath for too long up there. Let's hold our breath, count to four, and then release. Ready? Here we go. So 
So it's like a blowfish or maybe what you would do if you as a human were jumping under the sea and you need to hold your breath. Let's do it again. <gasps> One more time like a blowfish this time. <sighs> Doesn't that feel kind of good? Don't you feel calm? I feel pretty calm. Now, as you're getting back to school, maybe you're gonna start feeling a little bit stressed out. So those breathing exercises are gonna be helpful too, not just moving around. And it doesn't have to be fast and wild and crazy and out of control. Something just like this, like centering your breath and breathing like a blowfish, holding your breath at the top, blowing all that air out. Those are really good ways to sort of ground yourself and become centered and feel a little bit better if the day is stressing you out a little bit. Maybe some of you are moving up a grade in school. Maybe the work is gonna be a little bit harder or it's just gonna feel really different to have so many things on a computer. Now that's nothing to be scared of. It's a new adventure. I love new adventures. It's really, really exciting and I'm so proud of all of you who are in that situation. But remember, some things are gonna be stressful and that's okay. Just remember to breathe through it, work out. Let's see, what is Jenny saying? I just had my week at camp. It ended Friday. Well, that's very sad. So see, something like that, something ending, something that's gonna make you sad. Well, one thing is gonna end, something else new and exciting is gonna begin, so that's always good. But when you're feeling sad, that's okay. Just take time to find something you enjoy to make yourself feel a little bit better. And take time to stop, pause, and breathe. Even I need to remind myself to do that. You know, under the sea, I didn't really breathe through my lungs and through my mouth like that, so it was easy to forget once I got up on land. Then if I'm running around and I'm dancing and I'm having a wonderful time, all of a sudden I realize, oh, I'm not really breathing very slowly or controlled. So I wanna pause and breathe like a blowfish. <laughs> oh, and Jenny says her camp is going to a fall season. So great. There's always something to look forward to, everybody. There's always something, some new adventure waiting ahead. And you know how much I love adventures. So I challenge all of you, until the next time I see you, to find a wonderful adventure. That can mean doing exercises in your house. That can mean really diving in <laughs> to a new year at school. You're gonna have such a wonderful time, whether you're going to school, whether you're going to work, whatever you're doing. There are so many exciting things lying ahead for you. You just have to make sure that you know how to calm yourself down and spread out your day to include focusing and having fun and being creative. Well, that's where adventure lies. It's all sort of in your heart and in your head and in your imagination. I know that you're all gonna do wonderfully no matter what comes next for you and I can't wait to hear about it next time I see you on one of these lives. Jenny is saying, when will you be on again? Well, Jenny, I'm not sure yet, but of course, keep an eye out and everybody knows keep an eye on Facebook and Instagram and social media for when I'll be back or when any of my friends will be back. We've got Harry Potter characters and superheroes. We are all so lucky to have so many cool friends and we're so happy to share what we know with you. So until next time, I had a wonderful time. Make sure you do those exercises and enjoy whatever comes next to you. Bye-bye. <laughs>